Hi, I'm absolutely delighted to be interviewing Sandra Howard today. Sandra really has had an amazing life. She started out as a model in the 1960s, photographed by the likes of David Bailey and Norman Parkinson, and twice was on the cover of American Vogue. In 1975, she married Michael Howard, and in the 1990s and earlier in this century, she became a high-profile political wife. At the age of 65, she became a published author for the first time, and now has a whole new career writing novels. So Sandra, tell us how you actually got into writing novels. Well, rather by accident. Everything I've ever done seems to have been by accident. I um, I was actually being chatted up at a party by uh, somebody who said, did I have any passions? Did I have any great passions? And I said, well, I'd really love to be a, to write books or be a writer. So he said, well, um, send me an article. And I, I hadn't known that he was the editor of the, the, the Sunday Express. And this was a long time ago. And this was in the days of, um, uh, he was John Junor of the Sunday Express. And I didn't know who he was when I was talking to him, but he printed the article and he printed a few more. And um, from that, I started doing a bit of freelance writing. And from that, um, I got an invitation from a literary agent to consider writing a novel. So it all happened by accident at that one time, which was amazing, really. If you were to compare your career as a model with your career now, writing novels, which would you say you prefer? I get much more out of the books, out of my fiddling around with words on, on paper. I just enjoy it so much. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's lovely. Okay. It really is. It's, uh, it's, it, it's just, it's escapist and mm -hmm. it's slightly antisocial because I rather dread anybody calling me or all the emails that come in and I just want to be alone with my characters. But um, it is fun. I'd like to go back to the 1960s if I may. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into modelling? Um, again, by accident. <laughs> I had um, a friend who landed a job being a, um, a PA to somebody in television. We were both in our teens still, in just, just still in our teens. And she couldn't go to London to do this job unless she had somebody to share a flat with her. So she tried to persuade me I could do a modelling course and share the flat. And my rather sort of egghead parents, rather amazingly, it was something so different from anything they'd done. They seemed content for me to do this so um, off I went to and then I had a bit of luck because um, somebody called in sick um, to the model agency I was with Lucy Clayton model agency that some people might remember and um, this when they got the message from somebody being that was sick the head of Lucy Clayton looked at me and she said well Norman Parkinson quite likes working with raw material so you might just go along and see if you'll do so um, that was a picture for Vogue. So my first ever picture was for Vogue, which was an amazing start in modelling, just by accident. So what did you enjoy most about being a model? The excitement of it. I was young when I started. Um, the travel. You know, I went to Paris for the collections with a um, wonderful photographer called Terry Donovan. Um, and... Um, we, 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 went, we went on trips in the 60s and 70s, there was more freedom somehow. And, and, and it was a smaller world, there were fewer models, fewer photographers, fewer magazines and newspapers, and um, we just had a good time, it was lovely. I've just read and very much enjoyed your book, Tell the Girl, which I think is your most sort of autobiographical. The main character in that, Susanna Forbes, has a brilliant time in America. So how much similarity is, is there between what happens with Susanna and what happened to you personally? My first husband wanted to, um, wanted to meet Sinatra. And when he did, he said he'd love to write a book about him. And so Sinatra said, well, come on out to California and come around with me for a bit and you, and you can write a book about me and my music. And so we had three months with, with Frank Sinatra in California, meeting Marilyn Monroe, meeting amazing, extraordinary people of the time, which was quite an experience for somebody of 21 or whatever I was then. It was 
Terrific. Also in that book, the character meets President and Jackie Kennedy. So did that actually happen to it you as well? It did actually happen, yes. I was, um, went to stay with, at the embassy because I knew the ambassador. And um, we went and had a meal on the eve of the Cuba crisis with the Kennedys, um, just, just the six, seven of us. It was mm, very, very weird and unreal experience in many ways because nobody knew at that time about the crisis in Cuba that was about to happen. And the very next day, the president went on, on, on air and, uh, um, and explained that um, the Russian ships were bearing down on, on Cuba. And uh, the missile base was, was there and uh, we were an, under serious threat. So it was very dramatic. How many books have you written in total? I've written six now, five published and one with my publishers. So I'm looking forward to, to that one coming out. That'll be called Absence. Put in a little puff there for it. And um, the others have been quite um, standalone, it's called, in the business. Although the first three did have characters that continued on. And my sixth book, I've gone back and done a little bit of a sequel to my third book, which has been exciting and very interesting to write. You've obviously had a long and really amazing and varied life and career. So what advice would you give to somebody in their 40s who was worried about getting older? I think I would, I would say don't leave out of account. You might find a new passion. As I, I found with my writing, it's an absolute passion and it's given me a whole new lease of life, really, and a whole new career. And so I think you don't want to think of yourself as on the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, although that's usually meaning <laughs> with relationships, but it also is with jobs too, I think. And I think not getting twitchy about getting old, not just relaxing a bit more about it. Yeah. Okay. And not, not going too mad about it. Which Look Fabulous Forever products are you really enjoying? Oh, I'm very, very keen on the dark green eyeshadow. Forest green, I think that's terrific. It just gives definition, which I love, and um, the cream blusher, and, um, and the primers, because I haven't used primers before, and now I'm really into primers, thinking that that's terrific. No, I'm, 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 um, I'm very excited about it all. Thank you, Sandra. I really enjoyed talking to you, and that was absolutely brilliant.